Hello everyone. This is my review of the Nikon 50mm lens. Okay, I bought this lens primarily to shoot at night uh, in low light situations. Um, and I finally got my chance to test it out and it works great. Um, so this, this review would be strictly for doing video and not for taking pictures. Um, I probably will do a video for taking pictures with this lens in the future but this review will be for video. Um, this is Nikon F 1.4 lens um, which basically means that you can get in a lot of light through it at 1.4 um, right, so you can you can get it on eBay you can find these for used for 30 to 50 bucks um, but you are taking a chance on um, you know if they got scratches or fungus and things of that nature that might grow on it so if you want to buy it new you can get it on Amazon for 200 to 300 bucks um, and this has an adapter which I had to buy uh, it's an, it, you can use it on a Nikon but I have a Canon um, so I had to purchase this adapter right here uh, which was uh, pretty expensive itself so, uh, photo photo deox is the company that makes it um, to be to be able to fit on the Canon um, one thing about this adapter it didn't go on there smoothly it wasn't something that you can just click on uh, I had a hard time trying to figure out there are no instructions to come with it so when you attach it to the lens um, it's very difficult to get off I actually have a hard time getting it off but it's staying on there since I don't own any Nikon um, cameras I'll be using it strictly with the Canon so it's fine that it's on there uh, but once I got it on the lens it fits on the Canon perfectly um, now here are the manual controls because you'll be using this strictly manual because once once you have the adapter on you can't use any of the automatic functions on it because once you have the, the adapter on as you can see the contacts are gone so it'll be completely manual so you'll be using your focus manually so it's a good idea to take a, lo a long time practicing holding the camera and using the focus ring uh, to get your shots which is not a big deal um, it's also a lens that you use for portraits so it's going to be you're going to be getting some up close type of shots so I took this lens out um, out in the city uh, and shot up uh, several footage um, I started at 4.0 with it and it looked really good really crisp uh, I got nice shallow depth of feel alright so once uh, I got further into my trip I opened it up all the way to 1.4 um, and then the sunlight was completely gone by that time <clears throat> once I opened this up to 1.4 which is full, fully open um, it was amazing just the way the night just became like day as you know, the, a lot of reviews said and I, I can testify for that it, it really did so I'm gonna show you the main footage from that so you can see how clear uh, the shots were in the dark um, well, not completely in the dark, you know, ambient light, you know, from the buildings and the street lights and whatnot. Uh, but you can literally shoot all night at 1.4 easily, and you're getting crisp, um, shallow depth of feel. And it worked great. I was really amazed with the results, uh, it, you know, because I do shoot a lot uh, in low light situations, filming bands and stuff like that. You, you're, you're always in dark rooms you know even though they're on stage it's still very dark yeah another thing to consider too once uh, once you start using um, DSLR to do video uh, the, especially 18 megapixels the file size increases almost triple if you're just used to doing your basic recording from a camcorder um, so you might want to think about your computer too because you might have to upgrade that and not only that, you probably have to upgrade any video program that you have 
to suit HD recording. So that's another thing that I encounter once you start filming the file sizes. Uh, for example, if you shoot one minute of full HD, it's gonna take you about an hour to hour and a half to render all that, um, depending on your computer. If you got a, a really good computer with a fast pro processor, it'll probably be much faster. But that's something you want to consider. Um, another thing to consider too is the upload time of HD video is also long. So if you're, you know, if you're shooting a minute worth of full HD and you're uploading it to Vimeo or YouTube, it's going to take close to an hour, hour and a half to upload that. So you know, just take in consideration when you start filming DSLR. All right. So for the purpose of the review, I'm going to take a few clips from my journey uh, just to show you samples of what the lens looks like um, and then I will make a short film from the entire footage on a future video so stay tuned for that um, so I hope this review helps you uh, once again these you know this is the Nikon 15 millimeter f1.4 lens uh, the review is strictly for shooting at night in real dark situations um, I'm going to set up the links to where you can buy the lens. Um, like I said, if you can, you can get them cheap at eBay uh, for 30 to 50 bucks, or you can buy a brand new one Amazon.com for 200 to 300 bucks. So whichever route you go, consider your computer and then a program that can handle full HD DSLR footage. I uh, hope this review is helpful. Subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for the short film, um, which should be up shortly. Thanks.